Death penalty opponents speak out in favor of repealing capital punishment in Maryland. Governor Martin O'Malley is supporting a death penalty repeal this year. Political reporter Pat Warren has more on how Marylanders feel about eliminating executions. Advocates for repealing the death penalty say resources should be diverted from the death of the criminal to the lives of the victim's families. It will take money that is saved from the death penalty and send it to victim services, to outreach, and to counseling, and the things that will help my family to heal. Senate President Mike Miller will vote against repeal. There has to be an ultimate penalty for somebody that commits mass murder. But the General Assembly appears on track to pass it. I believe that there is the will in the Senate, and I also believe that there is the will in the House. And ultimately, the will of the people. If it does pass, it will go to referendum and it'll be a very close vote by the people. I don't fear the judgment of the people of Maryland. A recent Gonzalez poll found 49% of Marylanders in favor supporting the use of the death penalty. 44% oppose it and 7% had no opinion. While the majority support it, the opposition has risen eight points in the past two years. And in what is considered a key finding, Marylanders consider life without parole an acceptable alternative to death by a margin of two to one. Death penalty supporters include Baltimore County State's Attorney Scott Schellenberger, who says he's mobilizing a coalition to repel the repeal. I do believe that the, the opposition of those wanting to keep the death penalty is very strong. Supporters of the death penalty argue that the state only uses it in the most extreme cases and that Maryland has the highest standards of proof in the country to avoid making mistakes. I'm Pat Warren reporting in Annapolis. Now back to you on TV Hill. And Pat tells us the Senate will be the first to take up that bill.